Hey, what's going on everyone? So today I'm gonna be playing some Rage One. If you don't if you have never heard of Rage, you probably have, but you've probably heard of Rage 2 because it came out a couple months ago. It's actually a fun game. I've never played it, but I've seen a lot of good people I've seen a lot of people say it's really really fun and it's outstanding compared to this game. But this game is probably fun because, uh, I don't really know, but it seems pretty fun and it was an Xbox 360 game published 2009, I think, and it's like outstandingly good in graphics and god it takes too long to download, it took me two hours to download this game with my internet because it sucks ass. Sorry cousin, who gives a fuck, I don't care. But it took me, it was like 23 gigabytes on my Xbox One. I was like, how the fuck does an Xbox 360 game get this, this far? Like this, like how many gigabytes this is? Me, Holy shoot, that was like a scare, bro. But if you're looking, or if you're liking these videos right now, please leave a like and subscribe. Because I will post more Doom, because I just have a lot of games that I'm looking forward to start playing. Cause I'm gonna be posting another video of Doom. I mean, um, whatever it's called. I forgot the name to it. Borderlands. I know you got I'm gonna be posting another video tomorrow. Open. Borderlands video, just a sneak peek of what I'm doing. Got bandits all over these hills. We best get going. And then Wednesday, I'm gonna be posting a tip video for Fallout 76 and how to get money and stuff. So, so early I'll be posting like three tip videos every week and then two, four regular gameplay videos. And I'll start pushing into lore videos because I'm, lo I'm looking forward to be making these lore videos like Fallout lore and all these other open world games. I'm looking towards uh, making lore videos around those games. I don't know why I'm just staring at the dude, just like not looking around, just like straightly staring at him. Hold on, got bandits. So, damn shame you're still you know the weird thing. This game's like a mix of Borderlands and Fallout, kind of together in a way. I mean, it's not like it looks like Borderlands or Fallout at all. But it, it's like it's made by the Probably same same company that Damn. owns like Bethesda run. owns ID Studios, and they uh, they like Bethesda published this game, but this game is a kind of like a Fallout based theme because it's an, it's like, it's not a nuclear but it's a wasteland, towards sort of like Borderlands in a way, but not really. Borderlands is sort of like a wasteland, but it's in Pandora where it's like another hell. But it's like a hell wasteland theme, just broken over time and stuff. It's not like a nuclear apocalypse, but it is a wasteland. I can't believe like these graphics is just that this game has. I'm just like it's outstanding compared to what it does and how much like it's outstanding because it's an Xbox 360 game and the graphics is just like good they're not good but they're good for its time you get that so i think rage you should really just check it out and it's like outstanding for what it is right now And here's here's one thing, um, you know, Save Decay. Put a lot of risk if you do play it. the game I was playing yesterday, the graphics life, just are horrible. For here. I mean, for me I right now, at 2019, it's contract. horrible for me. But I don't really know Maybe if it was a 2009 game if it was really good. But the, so the graphics, I mean, and it was made by it was made by Microsoft, Microsoft uh, company, and just like 
No, like no hell no. Comes out alive, except you. All right, let's if see what this dude is telling me. In the garage, and that pistol, okay, we gotta do a mission for this table. little ma'am. Oh, and you won't just get my thanks. Come back alive, and I'll dig up some armor that'll fit over that. One more thing. Those bandits shouldn't be too hard to take down. Not for you. I hear there's something special. Well, let's get in my car and see what the hell we can do. Funny thing, when I was playing this, I was just spamming X because I knew, like, I thought you just had to hold X. Like, um, you know how you in GTA you can just use those boosters and stuff if you have mod your car. But I was like, spam, you had to spam X, and I was like, I was just, like pushing X to go faster or like use a boost, but then I was like, it didn't go too far, like the uh, boost. And I was like, uh, maybe hold that, and then it did. I'm thinking, should I get Metro Exodus as a game, or should I start playing Metro X? Pretty sure I should. I mean, it seems like a fun game. I'll start doing this, too. Gotta sneak through that and see what we can do. Alright, homie, let's go. Below, we'll chase him down. <laughs> now. You're mine. <laughs> This thing's scary, huh? Don't die. Just beat him up with the pistol. This fucker some days. Hey yes, I'm going pretty fast. I've in the past week I've had I've grown about like past two weeks. I've grown over one thousand, not one thousand, uh, one hundred, not one hundred, thirty subs, and it may not seem like a lot, but I I've gained thirty subs in the last two weeks, and that's a lot of subs in the last two weeks. I I was like at a uh, hundred and fifteen subs two weeks ago. No, a week ago I think. Yeah, it was a week ago, and I've gained thirty subs in a week. That's outstanding, like, for me. Thank you all guys for doing, doing like, all that. Like, helping me out and grow my channel. Let's see if we can try to find this hoe. I kind of get stuck because I'm trying to find where the hell I'm supposed to go. And then I finally figure out I'm going the wrong way. That's just my stupid self. There we go. Turn that way. There's your door. Okay. Slice you. I'm just gonna start punching them because it's 